Hey guys, and today we'll be exploring something called as GRPC. So GRPC is a remote procedure called mechanism through which I can connect a server using a client which looks more like just calling a function actually. Um, now I'll, I want to explore something more on this and see if I can create a small project out of it and basically learn something new from that. So let's get started actually. So GRPC uses this protocol protocol buffers and then the protocol buffers now it's making use of version 3 mm, okay let's see okay so now it's saying you have to define a service definition using the proto file i was trying for so long the sources were not getting configured at all and then it worked finally it's resolving properly the thing i fiddled so much i it's adding these context paths but it's working properly now i don't know why No, it didn't work. Finally. Okay. So I learned something. But it worked. The way I wanted it worked. Okay, that was just configuration. Uh, So finally I'm setting up my own project wherein I am actually I'm trying to use GRPC as an independent project but for this I'm referring to a lot of documentation examples and all I'm trying to create one so that I can cleanly define what are the dependencies required what we need to do in order to uh, create a Maven pro project let's see how, how what things turned out to be So finally all the errors went so I figured out out of this uh, only these many are required the stub is required the proto buff proto buff is required then proto buff java util and the annotations api from apache tomcat so with this actually it worked let's go ahead and see what happens oh it started actually okay so finally we have a server started let's see what the client does and voila it works so i'm right now i have created like a grpc way of communication wherein uh, i've defined a server here which uses a grpc communicator but thing it has implemented like uh, what what it has to respond here so that's that's the response that i'm giving with a value a hundred thousand value and then i've completed the response which right now the response from server for the request name this i'm getting is from yeah so i got this response wow okay that's nice so i figured out that these many dependencies are required now i want to reduce the dependencies i want to see what is actually required and what may not be required um i want to see that so finally i could actually use grpc i started the server uh, and I have triggered the client from here and the client is sending a request and it got a response so this is the response that it got so this is implemented on the server side which I have connected as a service to this server as new service IMPL and I got the response that's really good so it took some 
time from the tutorial the main thing is not writing this particular code but getting these dependencies right so i figured out that i didn't require this so i will remove this but the rest is required and there are quite many things behind this that is uh, how how to use streaming and you can return a stream of results or you send in a stream of requests and you get a response based on the stream or you can stream in and stream out data quite a lot of things to be done but as of now i understood how exactly this works what you need to do how you have to start a server inside this project uh, and then it can communicate with it um, so today I explored about gRPC and I'll be exploring more such kind of technologies in the future. So make sure that you subscribe and you don't miss out on those. If you have any suggestions for me to explore, let me know in the comments below. Till then, see you in my next one.